Armored Battle Mage Magus starting build. As the name suggests, this is a tank Magus class. Actually, when I better think about it, this is the only class in the game that has high melee damage, high spell damage and huge armor class combined into one. They are proficient with medium armor, or better to say, you are forced to play with medium armor because it will bring you great boosts from the start. Later on, you will be forced to play with heavy armor because of boosts, again. Magus is the hardest class to play and master in Pathfinder. They cast spells or buff their melee attacks with their arcane pool of magic energy. You will play with simple light one-handed weapon in one hand and your other hand will be reserved for casting spells. A bit funny, but that's how it is. So, you're proficient with light, simple weapons and medium and heavy armor. On top of all of this, you'll also be able to cast zero level spells, or better to say, cantrips. Choosing race, we're searching for high dexterity and intelligence. So, human, elf, halfling, Half-Elf, Half-Orc, Tiefling, Dampir, Kitsunes, they all apply for the role. We start off with Human, then we transfer to other races as well. Background selection. Regional Diplomat, Nexian Scholar, Historian, Kadrian Wanderer in Regional, Varigian Explorer, Daredevil, Shackless Corsair, Linarm Kings. All of those are valid. For this subclass, we will pick Shackless Corsair. Allocating ability points. I would go for a full risk reward here with 7, 18, 13, 20, 7 and 7. Reason is very simple. This is one of the most offensive classes in the game. You want to burst as fast as you can. How you do it? With risking starting attribute points. How do you do it in game? You apply all possible buffs, you trigger melee touch with spell or better to say you prepare melee attack. Then you open up with a long range spell into freaking melee attack for maximum amount of burst damage. That's how you play Magus. Those that don't like to risk, 13, 16, 13, 20, 7 and 7 is the way to go for a safer route. Even further reduction for the easier difficulties and the safest way to play for attribute points would be 16, 13, 12, 18, 10 and 10. But I personally hate playing safe would always go for a high risk, suffer a bit in the beginning of the game, and once you start acquiring items and scaling up with levels, that early risk will pay off at least three times more than when going the safe route. Allocating skill points. We take all greens, we got exactly enough points, so we're gonna take Athletics, Mobility, Arcana, World, Persuasion and use Magic Device. Feats. Weapon finesse is a no-brain because we want our high dexterity to scale with melee weapon. For our second feat, we can take spell focus into evocation, conjuration, abjuration or enchantment. It's your choice, basically. Good feats to have are extra arcane pool, dodge, spell penetration, spell focus on all of this that I just said right now, abjuration, divination, enchantment and so on elemental focus into specific element you want to deal damage with, fire, acid, electricity or cold. Having die hard is also very useful, because it will save you from dying for an entire round. Choosing spells, burning hands for some AoE damage, expeditious retreat to run faster, flare burst for some light, magic missiles as the best spell that you can take early on in the game, magic weapon to boost your damage a bit, shield for some defense, true strike, so you can actually hit someone early on and vanish so you can sneak a bit and attack from stealth. The spell will only be useful in the first few levels, after that it becomes useless. Choosing deity, Kalistria, Kaiden, Salian, Lamatsu, Norgober, Saranrea, they're all valid options, pick what you like the most. Alignment also, it's completely your choice. For this case we will pick Kalistria because of Rapier and alignment as I said this is your choice. Other races now as Armored Battle Mage Magus. For Elf, Half Elf, Halfling and Half Orc we will stick with base versions and we're gonna copy the entire human build. For Tiefling we can go with base version of Tiefling or Grimspawn and then we're gonna copy the entire human build. For Dampir the only good and valid option would be Vetalaborn, Ajibachana and then we're gonna copy the entire human build. Maybe you wanna take some necromancy spells with uh, spell focus into necromancy 
and we switch this for some necro spells and that's it we copy everything else from human build for kitsune the only val valid one is kin kitsune and then we copy the entire human build